You know you messed up, right? NFL, you you know it's over for the league now because you slipped up and let this happen. And what I'm referring to is the Baltimore Ravens secondary. The way that the NFL messed around and allowed the Ravens strong secondary to get even better and even more versatile. Think about this. Stay with me now. Ravens already had Marlon Humphrey. And Marlon Humphrey, when you think about him, obviously he's had some down years over the past couple years, dealt with a lot more injuries uh, recently than he had before. Hopefully he can be healthy. But Marlon Humphrey, they got him very physical corner, uh, press corner. He ain't going to let you off that line. But with Marlon Humphrey, he can play both outside corner and slot corner as well. So you can move him around, have him do a lot of different stuff. And something that Marlon Humphrey's been getting a lot better on over the past couple of years is his blitz game. So with him, you never know when it's coming. But then you think about the other side. Go to the other side of the field. You got Brandon Stevens. And with Brandon Stevens, he showed out last year, came a long way. And Brandon Stevens is also another very physical corner, a press corner. But with him, he also knows how to play safety. So he also has a lot of versatility. Then you got Arthur Millett. Arthur Millett, Ravens slot corner. And he held that down in a phenomenal way last year. But then back up. Because you got Marcus Williams, Baltimore Ravens free safety. And the way that he covers the field, especially when healthy, it, he does a, an amazing job. The man is a true ball hawk. But then you go opposite him. And you got super duper Kyle, Kyle Hamilton, arguably the best safety in the league. That's another conversation for another day. But you got Kyle Hamilton. He can play safety. He can play slot corner. He can rush the passer. He can play in a box. He, he can do everything. You ask him to cover a slot receiver, go ahead, super duper Kyle. He got it. You ask him to cover a tight end, go ahead, super duper Kyle. He got it. But then... The NFL, they mess around and allow the Ravens to get even more versatile in the secondary. They drafted Nate Wiggins. Nate Wiggins is a perfect counterpart to all of the Baltimore Ravens secondary. He is a perfect complement to exactly what they do. Because think about this. You got all these physical corners ready to jam somebody at the line. Marlon Humphrey pushing people. Brandon Stevens pushing people. Now, not to say Nate Wiggins can't push somebody too, but Nate Wiggins has something that those two guys don't have like that. And that's that crazy speed. And he's a Baltimore Raven. So Baltimore Ravens are almost in a predicament right now in a secondary. It's like, man, how do we get all these guys on the field at the same time? Because it's, it's just such a good problem to have because their secondary is just extremely versatile. They can do so many different things in so many different ways. Then on top of that, TJ Tampa, who was a guy that a lot of people slept on. A lot of people expected him to get drafted a lot higher. He's also somebody. Doesn't have the crazy speed, but he has the physicality, and he got the IQ. You know the last person that the Baltimore Ravens had drafted and they had on a team that that was said about? Well, they ain't had. They wasn't crazy athletic or anything like that. They ain't had the most speed or anything like that, but their IQ was off the charts. Geno Stone Geno Stone And with Geno Stone The only thing that stood in the way Of him going off Especially when the Baltimore Ravens first drafted him Even when they brought him back The only thing that was standing in his way Was opportunity That was it That was it So imagine that for a TJ Tampa Because this is much better to have Than just athletic ability alone if you got the smarts, oh, you can make up for every, any anywhere that you're lacking at, and you got the smarts, you you can make up for it big time. But all that is in the Baltimore Ravens secondary right now. And think about this: we ain't done yet. We not done. We got somebody who missed the majority of last year, last year. But when he has played, he's shown he can play, and he got it up here too. He's a smaller guy, smaller frame, shorter guy. About 5'9", five, 5'10", five, but he is somebody that plays slot corner. He's somebody that also plays safety. Ardarius Washington. 
and Ardarius Washington. I remember when the Baltimore Ravens first signed him as an undrafted rookie free agent a couple of years ago. They gave him the biggest signing bonus that year for an undrafted rookie free agent on the squad. Why? Because they wanted to keep him around. And now a couple of years later, he's still with the squad. And he has an opportunity to possibly, possibly man that third safety role. And then... We ain't done yet. Yo, I know y'all thought it was over, right? No, we ain't done yet because they still now these guys, they, they still got a lot to prove. But Pepe Williams, Demarion Williams, he's showing when he when he's played, he's close. He's close. He, he ain't quite there yet, but he's close. He's somebody that can play slot corner. Jalen Armour Davis, he he got a little ways to go, but. Maybe this could be the year where him being around all those other corners. It's going to be tough for him to make the team now. But possibly if he, him being around all those other corners, maybe this is where some stuff could click. And then he got Trayvon Mullen too. Okay, don't, don't forget about him. So Trayvon Mullen last year missed a lot of last year with injury, but this year just him having that motivation, that could prove big for him. So Ravens secondary is literally stacked. And then think about this, too, and something that I've been talking about on here a lot, especially at the safety position. We talked about Super Duper Kyle Hamilton. We talked about Marcus Williams, who's a ball hawk. But for that third safety position, yeah, Ardarius Washington got a chance to win it right now. But I expect the Baltimore Ravens to still get even better there. I expect them to still add somebody, a veteran, who can come in right here, right now, and hold that spot down. So with Ardarius Washington, he could possibly do it. But I think with the Baltimore Ravens, especially them being in win now mode, they're going to want to go with somebody who has a lot of experience at the safety position in the NFL. You got some options out there. You, of course, you brought in Jamal Adams for a visit. I don't think that will be the best fit. But Justin Simmons is still out there. But my point is, whoever the Baltimore Ravens sign at the safety position, they're getting ready to get even better. They're already great there now. They're already great there now with the two safeties that they got. But they're going to get better. In the secondary, they were all, before the draft, they were already good there. They were already, already really good there. But they got even better. NFL, <laughs> y'all done messed up big time. <laughs> 